All right, bye. I'm here because my car was towed while I was trying to get my passport. <laughs> I realized I had left my keys to my car in the back of the cab on the way here. My spare set's in Delaware, and my insurance card is locked in the car. <laughs> my dad was the only one who knew where the spare set was, so he had to drive all the way out here. The people have had longer waits for insurance. She was only towed just at the noon. I just need to see the current registration insurance, and she'll be good to go. I'm now stuck here until my spare set, which is in Delaware, over an hour away, gets here. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> my dad lost the front street exit. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't exist. So I asked this guy who works here to talk to him because now my dad's not a happy camper. <laughs> Morgan Ave, you know where that's at? Well, okay. My dad is not a chill guy. <laughs> He's aggravated right now. That combination with his personality, not good. Thank you so much. Where is he at now? He's down there, but he's caught in traffic. I don't know! Obviously, if you can't see me, it's on the opposite side of where you are. I'm not walking out to the street. Do you see the sign? It's a big blue building under a big sign. Does this street have a name, sir? I'll come up to the first street before Delaware. If you see the barbed wire fences, turn there. I don't understand. How the hell did you get on Columbus Boulevard? I don't know where you are. I don't know where he is. Don't you want to stay on the phone with me so you can figure out where you are? Or do you want to just keep hanging up on me and screaming at me? I'm not walking out the street so you can come find me. It's on the back side of UPS. I'm not standing out in the middle of the street. OK? You. No, because it's like three blocks away. You just passed me. Turn around and make a left. It's on the back side of UPS. Make a left. Thank you so much. Thank you. Drove 52 miles for, all the way up from Delaware to help her out of this jam. Then the people give me the wrong directions. Then it took me another hour and a half because I had to go up and make a U-turn in the middle of a rush hour. You got everything? Everything I think I need. You should have no problem now. I don't have a problem. I just want to <laughs> leave. Well, good luck. Here. Thank you. All I need to do is show you this and this. I've already paid. Give me more cards. Take it out, though. Well, yeah, but just don't make me wait in line or anything. I've already been here for two hours. If you have another card on you, this one's expired. Well, I don't have any more on me. All right, you can call her insurance and have them fax it over. Are you kidding me? I need that to release it. All right, well, let me walk back out to my car and get my cell phone and do that for you. There's a pay phone over there. I'm going to save her walk. Philadelphia fans are so obnoxious because they have to deal with all this bull every day. All right, Kristen. They wonder why they, they throw snowballs at Santa Claus. Like, yeah, everything. I know. I'm just frustrated. I don't know. And of course, a 21 year old. Everything's in New York Minute, too. It's not a New York Minute. I've been here for two hours. I've been looking for you for two hours. <laughs> Press one. I don't want to choose one of the following. I want to speak to a representative. Press one. For general information, press one. What? Hi. To obtain information, press two. What? For information, press three. Are you kidding me? If you wish to speak to a customer representative, yes. Press zero. Can you fax the paperwork? Now, I can't have them fax it over until his name, who is the primary policy holder, speaks to them. Attention of Philadelphia Parking Authority, I presume. So if he wasn't here, I would have never been able to get my car out. 
Well, at least we got a cooperating insurance company. They're going to five to ten Thank minutes God. fax over. Five to ten minutes? There you go, your New York minute. Five to ten minutes is too guys. long. I've been here for hours. Kristen, they got to bleep that out. <laughs> All right, you got my facts? No. It is a waiting game. I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I just want to go home. I got here at 1. It's 5.14 right now. I just ran outside to the guard booth to let you drive off the lot. That's all you need. Good? Yep. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Let me out. <laughs> my dad did come through. We love each other. He just gets cranky with me. Que sera, sera. A case of mischievous child. My little brother here, DJ. He's my boy. You know, you sneak your parents' car keys and you're not supposed to. He thought he was going to be back before she knew it. She knew it when they called and said the car got to I'm the angry mother. My mother had a car. Touch your car. Miss Ada don't even play that. You bet not have been behind no driver wheel of my mother's car. Uh, I was supposed to go get my check and come back, and I didn't. I went downtown to buy some things, and my cousin said he was going to check on the car, and he took it and moved it. And when he moved it, they told it. My mom mad right now. I'm about to mop him up with that parking lot. You know, if your mother tell you something and you don't follow it, it's going to come back to bite you and you're behind later on. This has to be one of those situations. He's going to have to work and work until either A, she gets her car back, or he replaces the car that she can't get back. It works for me now. <laughs> Simple directions. If you was on a mission, you should have let your mission been direct. Bang, bow. No, you got to stray. 30 minutes, right. come back. You know, what person you know take them 30 minutes in the gallery? It take you 15 of them minutes to get in the gallery, then the line. We just left it. That's what I'm saying. We came right back, and it was gone. But I wouldn't even trust no 30 minutes not when we going into a store, because you don't even know how to line along the line in the store. I'm all going to take you more than 30 minutes, period. My son just had my car down at the 10th and Ludlow, and they said he brought it here. It's a 97 Mitsubishi. Okay, it will be 125 for the total. Here because we have 192. So what's the total? I'm helping out. Yeah, go home and get the rest of the money together to get the car out. Excuse me, Dr. Lee, could you tell me what I need to come back to get my car? You need your registration, insurance, and your driver's license. Who was driving your car? Yeah. That's your son? Yeah, I think. <laughs> there you go. Just take this over through the gate to the booth. One of the lot officers gonna walk you to the car so you can get the registration and insurance. I got my license and my insurance. I gotta go get my registration. Okay. All right. I gotta go get the paperwork. She was a little upset with her son. He took the car. $317. Don't think you just paying for this now. You're gonna be paying for this for the next couple months. Every time she said, can I have some money, you probably just dig in your pocket. Christmas. New Year's, Easter, we're not even Jewish, Hanukkah. I think this is it right here. Here's my poor baby. <laughs> you feel like she want to run over him. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm about to hurt that boy. First of all, you didn't back it up no two feet. You Yo, moved, you said like, you moved it to the corner. No, the corner is right there. It was too dark. To I was all the way at the other corner. I was closer right. to the other corner, but you right. said you moved it up closer to that corner. It was in the middle like, of the block where he parked. How many stories is we going to tell here? There was two dumpsters from behind where he parked. And he moved I it I put it in up. front of the dumpster. So did he just tell you he moved it back? <laughs> the dumpster was behind you. You just told him you, you he moved I moved it back, back like, what, two feet, right? Behind the dumpster. Can you see the Godfather? <laughs> That's why they did not give Fredo the big jobs. This is Fredo. My mother had a car. Touch our car? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, like no. Driving you touched it, would you have some soap and water to wash it? That's all you do. That, that's all you got to <laughs> do to it. That's all you do. Take your registration insurance card, uh, you go back in line, and, and hopefully I'll see you uh, in two minutes. <laughs> now I'm going to get something. I go get money and come back. I have to put my cane up so my mom won't whack my brother upside the head with it a couple times. She didn't have enough money for the car to get released, so she said she'd be back. 
I'm back. I went home and called my son and got the rest of the money together to get the car out. And once I got it together, I called my other son to bring me back down here to get the car. That's when the time for the family to come together was the time of crisis. Good God. My son went drove and went to work to go make your money back. I'm giving him $317 to get this poor car back. And then hopefully I can drive it off the lot. Come on, have a nice day. All right, you too. Now he told me to go get this and bring this back in order to get the car. Do you have the shorts with you? That's the right amount. Don't play with me. I just gave him $317. I'm looking at this right there. Um, this is not a, like, like an official insurance card for, for Erie. Oh, my God. Um, this is an Erie insurance card. When you turn it over, it reads the mutual insurance. So there's a conflict right there. I was giving him money for that, so I need to go back to him with that card. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a copy, but uh, we keep the originals. Why? We confiscate the bad cards. All right, well, give me a copy of it or something, because I was paying into that, and I'm going back to the people. Who put the plastic on? Well, I got it like that. I received it so like you that. You got it I like that? Yeah. That's a fake card. I wouldn't pull your leg on this, OK? I need this information for myself, too. Two pieces of card okay. put together, and then they put the paper on it. OK, thank you. OK, ma'am? Yes. She said she's been paying on it. So whoever she's giving the money to, they're taking her over. I'll be back tomorrow. Then I got to go get a fresh insurance. All this for something that already belonged to you. Paul Young, 04. It's a truck. It's a work truck. He's working somewhere, Sherry, so we got to make this snappy. He's probably working someplace close by, this guy. I'm just watching Garfield back as he's putting the boot on the car, make sure no one comes out running. Philadelphia can be a rough town. That's why I have to watch his back carefully. Unpaid parking tickets. Take it off. Okay. I need that off. We are not going to tow it. We're giving you a chance. Okay, to pay I'm gonna go pay it right now. Okay. okay. All you have to do is call this number, give them the tag number, they'll tell you how much you owe. You got a Visa credit card or a debit card? I don't have a Visa credit card. Well, you have to go down to 913 right Phil. Right so I'm saying I can't leave my truck here. I don't even know where this neighborhood is. Well, can't I mean, leave it on a payment. Can't leave it on a payment, they're gonna tow it. No, they're not gonna tow it. They're gonna leave it here. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that off. All right. I'm going to get the chop saw. I'm going to cut it off in two minutes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it off. I'm not leaving that on there. He said he's going to cut it off. Right. Ma'am, we're going to need a tow truck for this location. The owner said he was going to cut the boot off. No, he's kidding. He wanted to Okay, ma'am. We can't, we can't rely on that. Okay, well, you know, you can't I threaten can't to take, no, you can't myself. threaten to cut a boot off and expect us to leave it. Listen, I'm going to get the paper right now. Sir, I can't help it. He said he was going to cut the boot off to the car radio and they're going to tow it. And he's not happy with that. Right. It's not my truck, it's my I, I understand that, but when I'm you leaving. make a threat to That's cut a boot off. I didn't even say that. The dude said that, man. All right. <sighs> Don't get the baby and put the baby in the truck. Oh, no, Garfield. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, you have to tell it? Yeah, we have to tell it. Because you made a threat to take the boot off, no, sir. I'm not, OK, I can't leave it here. Knowing that it's unsecure, that you may have to, that you may have tools to cut that off. OK. It's going to get robbed, dude. Sir, the lot is secure. Mom. It's a locked lock. You worry about my man. This guy is just a little bit too agitated for normal. He's not calming down. It just has to be towed for our safety and, and for, you know, for the safety of the boot. Oh, boy. He's a little scary, actually. He's a little scary. He's over there making obscene gestures. 
what they're unloading the truck and taking out all their personal stuff in there. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, this guy made threats right away to cut the boot off. When I heard you come on the radio, I heard the scream. This is apparently the mother who owns the truck, and she looks as angry as he does. Yes, ma'am. He's doing that now. I tried to explain it to him that if he had been calm, we were going to leave it here. But when he made a threat to cut the boot off, we can't leave it here anymore. We can cut that off with the saw. He's got the tools. All it's going to cost you is what you have to pay in tickets plus the boot fee. But you can go down to 913 Filbert Street. Let me leave it there, and I will go downtown with the boot on it. He's not going to. Once, once he made that threat, we can't do it. Once the tow truck's here, we, it's not up to us anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry, but... You got a wise man. We got to go down and make rain. Oh, well. It's not her fault that the car's being towed. It's because he was a big mouth. If I can't do it, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm going home all day. Sometimes you got to think before you speak. When you make a threat like that, it's just like telling somebody, I'm going to punch you. Well, we can't take a chance. Very rarely have I ever been angry enough to actually take a poke at somebody. I'm pretty much a lover, not a fighter. Well, I don't know about him being a lover or a fighter. I'm married, so we don't get into all that. <laughs> Let somebody use your car. Make sure they license drivers. Well, don't you ask people if they have a license before they drive your car? I didn't know that he didn't have a license at the time. Eighty percent of the time, family members lend the car out to other family members, and they get the car towed. I drop my sister off at work. I always drive without a license. My dad's the owner of the car. These two cops stopped me. Then a towing truck came and just towed it. Basically, you know, cops are. My daughter has a license because I don't mind her using a car. But I didn't know he was driving. If I would have done that, I would have blew my top like I usually do. He doesn't have a license. Why he won't get one, I don't know. I got five kids. They're all grown now, yeah. You know, and they're all coming back home. It costs them big money. They're on their own because they did it before to me. I go traffic court. I go in front of a judge. I paid two hundred and twenty-five dollars, and then now I have to pay another hundred and fifty. I do a whole bunch of that didn't need to be done. Your total right now is four hundred and twelve dollars. The reason why? Because you have two other tags. You owe parking authority tickets. Two cars. Well, the tag. One tag is a Buick. I don't know Buick. Who's Junior? I'm Junior, but I don't know the Buick. The ticket was issued in 2002. Well, we don't. Buick. And another one is from 2005. Mercury. A Mercury? We don't own a Mercury. If they owe any outstanding parking authority tickets from the past, they have to charge you. I need to start this. No, I'll be back with my lawyer, man. No. I need to get in my car. You got to step to the last one, the hand. Here, I need to get in my car. He's got my keys in my car. Now, I own this car. Take that back. What's the problem now? My dad don't own no Buick or no Mercury. And she's trying to say I got to pay this money just to get my car out. They're saying what the that lady's talking about. I need to get in my car. As far as tickets, you got to discuss that with the cashier. As far as getting stuff out of the car, I could do that if you uh, the owner of the car. Are you the owner of the vehicle? Yeah. OK, I got the drive license and a tag to the vehicle. I'll be right here. TPA can go yourself. They're saying that you own a Mercury and a Buick. Mercury? They're telling me that I got to pay these other, I have to pay $410 to get the car out because they're a Mercury and a Buick they're saying my dad owns. I don't remember having a Buick. I could have, but I don't remember. Who's next? Just let me go in my car and get the stuff out of it. Okay. 
You have to fill this out. Where it says the audio's being removed, just be specific what it is. No, I'm not doing any more paid work. I need to start this. I ain't doing all this work. Worked all day. Yeah, I got to deal with this. When you want personal belongings out of your car, you have to fill out proper paperwork to get it out. I handed him paperwork to fill out. He said, no, I'm not doing it. Do they take Jacqueline's information over the phone? Jacqueline's going to pay on her credit card? Yeah, she needs her car. All right, well, they're a All right. Yo, okay. it's $220. All right, come on. All them tickets and the pads, they caught up with them. You get the car out of here, you end up paying them tickets. Back in line again. Yeah, ah, uh, now I'm broke. Excuse me, can you take our card information over the phone? No. No? All right, we're gonna have to come back down with the money. We'll be back. Okay, on 11th market, get the money, come back, get the car out. Ain't got no choice. Back again. We got the money. My daughter ain't too happy about it, but they want to drive, they got to pay. I'm tired of putting it out of my pocket. I'm broke. Stop whining. I ain't whining. I'm bitching. Yeah, total is $412. All right, you said $412. $412. I told you that. You didn't say $12. Yeah, I did. I said $412. Well, you ain't here. You gonna get it? All right, thank you. Okay, can I see your license, registration card, insurance card? I'm going to have to fill out any paperwork. Uh, let's see what's going on first. I'm ready. I'm done. I've been telling him for years to get a driver's license. He just don't listen. He better not come back and tell me I owe more money. That's a release. He should get his license for one, but, you know, like, like the old saying, you can take a uh, horse to water, but you can't make him drink it or something like that, you know? I gotta go home to my dog. Still gotta pay for her food, too. You know, the dog can be awarded, you know, if you drive uh, legally and stop taking shortcuts. I might be calm now, but if it happens again, <laughs> you ain't gonna see him.